Shopify is one of the most popular and easy to use online store builders if you're looking to quickly create a responsive, sales focused and fully functional e-commerce website. So today my challenge is to show you just how quickly and easily you as a beginner can build, launch and start selling with Shopify in under 10 minutes. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this Shopify tutorial. Okay, so to get started with Shopify for free, simply head over to your browser and type in shopify.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then navigate over to start free trial. Now Shopify allows you to get started with Shopify on a free three day trial. Following this trial, you get access to three months of Shopify for only $1 per month. Then following this, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Okay, so go ahead and get started for free, sign up, follow the step-by-step -step process of creating your Shopify account, and we'll meet you inside Shopify. And here we are inside our fresh Shopify account. Now you'll see the notification to upgrade so that you can access the free trial. Go ahead and do that now. Once you've added your billing details and you've accessed the free trial, what we now want to do is navigate down to settings. This is where we can initially set up our online store. First, you want to navigate through your store details. Make sure you've added your store name, store email, and your store phone number. Then navigate down this page and add your billing information if you haven't done so already, as well as your store currency, time zone, and units of measurement. And then navigate down and click on save. What I'm going to do is navigate up to the top and click on edit and add my store name, which I haven't done yet. And if you want to learn how to create and set up a professional business email with Shopify, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Again, once you've completed your store details, go ahead and click on save. Next, we want to navigate over to payments. And there are two primary payment methods that you want to set up so that you can start collecting payments from your customers. The first method is Shopify payments. If you have this option for collecting payments, then what you want to do is navigate down and activate Shopify payments. Then navigate down and add a PayPal payment method. This is going to allow your customers to make payments via PayPal. So again, take the time to set up PayPal and Shopify payments. Now, depending on the country that you're in, you might not have access to some of these payment methods. So what you can do is navigate down and see all other payment providers. Okay, so take the time to activate Shopify payments and set up your PayPal account. Next, we want to navigate over to shopping and delivery. And this is where you can customize the shipping as well as add your different delivery options. You can set up general shipping rates for domestic and international. You can also create custom shipping rates for specific destinations and products that you offer. You can also set up local delivery as well as local pickup. This depends on the nature of your online store. So what you want to do is take the time to set up your shipping and delivery. What I'm going to do is navigate over to general shipping rates and click here. And I can go ahead and customize these shipping rates. Again, once you've made any changes, simply come down and click on save. Okay, so next, what we want to do is navigate over to domains over on the left hand side. And this is where you can set up and purchase a custom domain name if you've upgraded your plan. However, those are the main settings that we wanted to cover in this tutorial. Now, if you want to learn more about Shopify settings, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will dive deeper into your Shopify settings and how to create your online store. Okay, so now that you've spent the time to configure your online store settings, we can now navigate back to our dashboard by closing settings. And now we can add our first product by navigating over to products. Then come down and click on add your products. First, simply go ahead and add your product name, then add your product description. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added that description. Now you also have access to these formatting options up above to further customize and optimize your description. Then what we want to do is navigate down to media. This is where we want to add the images of our products. Simply go ahead and click on upload new. And these are the images that I want to upload. And as you can see, this is a physical book that I want to sell. Then navigate down the page, go ahead and add your product price. 
And if this is a promotional price, you can also add the compare at price. And then you can choose to charge tax, add the cost per product, then navigate down to inventory. Here we want to add the inventory, then navigate down the page and add the weight of this product. Then come down and add customs information if this is relevant. And then we can also add variants to this product. We can add options like sizes and colors. Then we have the search engine listing. This is how this product page will appear on Google search and other search engines. We can also edit this if we like. However, I'm happy with this product listing. This is a book that I want to sell to small business owners to help them transform online. Now, if you sell digital products and you want to learn how to sell digital products on your Shopify store, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial down below in the description, which will guide you through the process of selling digital products on Shopify. Now, if you don't have any products of your own to sell, don't worry. What you can do is leverage print on demand. And what Shopify allows you to do is connect with a print on demand app like Printify, the great thing about print on demand is you don't have to worry about inventory, creating products or shipping and handling. Everything is taken care of for you. If you want to learn more about print on demand with Shopify, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Next, we can add the product type. This is a book, then add the vendor, which is us. Then we can add collections. These are used to organize our different products and we'll create a collection shortly. Then below that, we can add tags. These help you further organize your products. I'm going to add book and small business resource. Then when you're happy with your product, simply navigate up to save. And congratulations, just like that, you've added your first product. Now, if your store was live online and you're still working on a particular product and you do not want it to be live online, then you can also navigate up to status and click on draft. However, because our store is currently not live online, I'm happy for all my product statuses to be active. Okay, so let's navigate back over to products. And as you can see, we now have one product. Okay, so just quickly, I'm going to add two more products with the same process I just showed you for creating and adding a product on Shopify. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Okay, so as you can see, I now have three products. Now what we're going to do is navigate over to Collections and then click on Create Collection. And the title of this collection is going to be called Small Business Tools. Then what you want to do is add a description as well as an image for your collection. I'm going to leave that for now and then navigate down and then keep product tag selected is equal to, and then click here, and then navigate down and click on small business resource. Each of the three products that I added had the tag small business resource. And these are the different conditions that you can set up to automatically add specific products to your collections when you add them. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate up to save. Now what we wanna do is start customizing our online store. To do that, simply navigate over to online store over on the left hand side. And this is where we can customize our online store, our theme. Now, if you navigate down to add theme, what you can do is you can visit the theme store and you can choose a different theme if you like. You can also navigate down here and see some popular free themes that you can use. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna use this theme. Now, as you can see, your online store is password protected. And when you're finished designing your website, what you can do is remove the password. You can also share the password with other people that you want to have access to your website while you're developing your store. For now, I'm going to remove password. And as you can see, your online store is now open to everyone. You can go ahead and restrict your store by going back to manage access. For now, let's go ahead and customize our online store. As you can see, this is what our online store looks like at the moment. Now to make any changes with each of these different sections, all you need to do is click on the section and that's gonna generate the content over on the left hand side. I'm going to add a featured image. I'm going to use this image here and click on done. Then I can add a second image if I like. I'm going to come down and click on desktop center position and then click on middle center. I'm happy with that. Now, if I click on this heading here, I can change this and I'm happy with that. We also have formatting options up here. I can then navigate down to featured products and click here and I can change the collection by clicking change collection and choosing the collection I created earlier. Then I'm going to choose two and then number of columns, two again, and that's gonna show just these two products. 
We can also change the heading. I'm happy with featured products. Again, we can add a description and then we have these formatting options. So remember with each of these sections, you can simply click on the section and then edit that section over on the left hand side or the element inside that section like this button here. If I click on the button, you can see that the button label is shop all and this button links to all products. So I'm happy with that. Now, if we navigate down the page and click on this plus icon, we can add a section to the template. And here are all the different sections that we can add. So what you want to do is take the time to navigate through each of these different sections and add those sections to your website pages. For example, I'm going to add multi-column and that's going to add that section in here. Then we have these formatting options over on the left hand side again. I'm going to navigate up here and click on back and you can see the structure of this page over on the left hand side. We have the announcement bar, header, then the template itself has an image banner. We have the small business tools text and then we have a button and you can see that up here. So you can see a macro structure of your website pages over on the left hand side. Let's locate the header and under the header we have the announcement bar. This is this bar up here. Below that we have welcome to our store. If I click here I can change this text 30% off ultimate small business playbook and then I can link this to a product. So I'm going to navigate down and click on products and then click on go digital now the ultimate small business playbook product. Now let's navigate back and then click on the announcement bar and then change the color scheme to this blue down here. I'm happy with that. Now, if you've made any changes, simply navigate up to save. You also want to preview all your changes on mobile to make sure that your website pages are responsive. I'm going to head back to desktop and take the time to customize each of the sections on your website pages. You can also navigate up to home page. So at the moment we've got home page selected. We can come down and customize a product page, collections and other pages over here. If I click here, we have our contact page. So what we would do is customize this contact page. Now you also want to navigate down and you want to customize your footer section. And the footer section is going to display in every page of your website. Now if we navigate over to settings over on the left hand side, we can also add a logo by clicking on logo and then select image. I'm going to upload a logo and then click on done. I'm going to make the logo larger and I'm happy with that. Again, once you've made any changes, simply click on save. Again, navigate through all your pages to see how they display. And this is how our product page will display. If I navigate back, we can customize our product pages if we like. Okay, so what you wanna do is take the time to navigate through all your website pages and customize each of the pages with the right sections and elements. At the moment, we only have a home page, catalog and contact. If we navigate out of the theme editor, you can come down and click on pages and create additional pages for your online store if you like. Now what we want to do is navigate down to settings and then click on checkout. This is where you can customize your checkout. Ideally what you want to do is add branding to your checkout and this is going to increase your conversions. Okay so let's exit out of this and then head back to our online store. And just like that you have built your website and you can now start selling your products online. Once you go live there's a few more things that you want to consider. And these include apps. Think about apps as extensions to your online store that you can use to add additional features to your store. What I'll do is add a few tutorials down below to help you get started with some vital apps. You can also add additional channels. And if we click here, you can integrate specific channels with your online store to reach more people. For example, you can connect your online store to Google and YouTube, Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and many more. Again, if you want to learn more and dive deeper into Shopify, what I'll do is add a more comprehensive tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will guide you through the complete process from A to Z to get the most out of your Shopify store.